It's that time of the year again where a lot of people are going to be joining the Samsung Galaxy user base. And whether you are a new user who just got his Galaxy device or an existing user who wants to customize his phone but with the stock launcher with one UI and not with any other launcher to take advantage of those sweet sweet navigation gestures, this video is for you. Yo what's up guys Anubhav here and in today's video we are going to be diving deep into customization on your Android phone using one UI and how you can change your Android phone's look from a stock look like this to a fully customized super maestro look like this. With that said ladies and gentlemen be sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right guys, so welcome to my stock Samsung One UI home screen. Now this is what you guys will have whenever you buy a new Samsung phone or you just you know start customizing it. So we've got the stock wallpaper with the stock widgets and everything and you know part of the reason of using One UI and not let's say an external launcher to do the same customization is because I've had a lot of people comment below where they say that you know the gestures now that Android has they're not supported anymore when you use a third party launcher. We want those same animations but we also don't want to miss out on customization which is why this is how you can do pretty much the same amount of customization on any stock launcher especially One UI which is what we are going to be talking about today. Now our basis of customization is going to be happening through Goodlock which is basically an app that is made by Samsung itself which has a lot of modules in it that lets you customize different parts of your phone to an insane level I have to say so props to Samsung for that and the first one that we are going to be using in today's video is called theme park now when you open up theme park for the first time you'll see a lot of options to customize your keyboard your quick panel icons volume panel but all we are looking for is to set a custom icon pack so go over to icons and hit on create new once you hit on create new, as you can see, you can change the shape here, the icon color as well as the tray color, but we are looking for the icon pack option. Now from here, you can download a ton of third party Android icon packs. I'm going to be using Delta since it has a wide icon coverage and you know, it just looks really, really good in my opinion. Now, once you have selected the icon pack, you can see the preview of what it's going to look like. And of course, you can also configure the size of the icon pack. I usually like them a little small, not too small since we are going to be changing the home screen grid size. So, you know, it will be small anyway. Now, once you're done, hit on the download icon on the top and just name it whatever you want for this one. Let me just call it theme one and it will start installing our new theme on our Samsung device. Now, once this has installed, what we want to do is to set this as our default theme and what this will basically do is set the icon pack to what we downloaded it to be which is delta for today's scenario so once it is done all you need to do is select on theme one and hit on apply and it will apply this theme on your phone so now we have one thing out of the way which is that we have custom icons on our home screen as you guys can see already i can see a whole lot of improvement especially if we consider how clean and minimal the home screen now looks okay step number two back to good luck the next thing that we are going to be doing is installing another module called home up now home up is a new module that lets you customize your samsung launcher settings even more we want to turn that on and go to home screen over here as i said we are going to be increasing the grid size so that we can fit more applications on the screen seven by seven is my sweet spot you can go lower than this and you also might want to enable the hide app icon label so that you know we hide the icons and the text beneath them next up you want to go to folder and make sure pop-up folder is turned on this means that you know it turns up as we see it in nova where it is just one icon and then it opens up to different icons you can also go to task changer and change your recents menu to a list or a grid format as you guys can see you've got also a lot of other options which are new like stack vertical list and slim list these are all new options and one thing that i like to turn on especially in this scenario is something known as uh, you know keeping centering the main application 
to the home screen. So once you've selected it, what you want to do is hit on center the current running app and of course turn off the search bar and the recommended apps and all of that to make it look just that much more cleaner. Now you can see it looks really good and the app that you zoom out of is always centered. Okay, so now we've got the grid size uh, done. Don't panic because all your icons and widgets, if you already have them on a screen, will look kind of weird. So delete everything you want by zooming out and make sure uh, this Samsung and Google Discover thing on the leftmost is also turned off. Now, once all of that is done, we have a blank canvas. And the first thing, obviously, we're going to be doing is changing the wallpaper. Now, as far as the wallpaper is concerned, I've already downloaded a wallpaper from Wavy Walls, an application I recently featured. So make sure you have that. I'll link it below and you can follow along if you want to use the same wallpaper. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that while you're setting the wallpaper, make sure that you also set the color palette to be the same. So Samsung has this cool feature where it matches the accent colors from the wallpaper. So Select ones from the randomized ones and just hit on apply and everything is just going to match really well with the wallpaper that you have set up. Now once this is done, we've got our wallpaper and grid size and icon pack ready to go. As you can see, everything looks really, really clean and really minimal in my opinion. And one more thing that I want to mention that takes your customization to the next level is another good lock module called Lockstar. Now Lockstar is really cool in the way that it lets you customize the look of your lock screen as well as the look of your always on display. So as you can see, you can add and remove widgets. You can add and remove information that is shown on your lock screen. And of course, you can change the clock style, which is honestly my favorite thing to do here. So click on this little square menu here and you can choose from a list of available clocks. I like mine a little more funky. So I'm just going to be selecting this one, resizing it a bit and boom, my lock screen is ready to go. I'm going to do the same to my always on display. As you guys can see, uh, probably set up a different clock here and set up different sorts of widgets and make sure that I don't get any notifications so that they look really, really good. There's also another module called Clock Face that lets you select all of this in a much more in-depth way. So you can check that out as well. But I think we're good to go for now. Let's check out our always on display. And now our lock screen, I think that looks really, really nice. All right, now that that is done, all we have to do is drop our apps into the home screen and doing that is pretty simple. Simply click and hold on an application inside the app drawer and either keep holding it or drag it to the top and you can add it to your home screen. Now I'm going to add a bunch of my favorite applications. And once that is done, the only thing that is left to do is to add widgets. And this is my absolute favorite part because you guys know that I love using KWGT skins for my widgets. So we're going to click and hold on an empty space on the screen, swipe down to KWGT, drop in a widget, resize it to whatever we want and click on it. Now I've already made a guide on how to use KWGT if you're not familiar with it. So click on the card above to check that video out. But for this video, I'm going to be using Lotse for KWGT, selecting a clock widget and resizing it. If you don't know how to do this as i said you can always check out that video of mine but i'm sure most of the people watching are already familiar with this application now after resizing it i also want to add a music player widget at the bottom so that you know the home screen has a little more depth in my opinion so i'm gonna again quickly hold on my home screen go to kwgt again and select another widget now you can add this very, very easily. Again, of course, you'll need the skin pack. So you can choose from a wide variety of skin packs that you know are available mostly for free on the Play Store. And I think, yeah, this is going to be a great way. Now I found this really cool one in the Lotse app itself. It'll be linked below. It's a music widget. And yeah, now I think it looks pretty good. There we go. We've got our gestures working as they are intended to be. We've got a clean, minimal home screen. We've got accent colors. We've got really nice animations. And we did all of that in one UI with the modules that Samsung provides in Good Luck. There you go. That's how you turn your Android device to look like this to this with very, very simple instructions that should be easy to follow for you as well.
And well guys, that was pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the entire customization result. Let me know what other good log modules do you guys use other than the ones that I spoke about in today's video and whether you want more content like this in the future or not in the comments below. With that said guys, it would mean a lot to me if you could hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and also turn on all notifications for future uploads so that you don't miss any and we get back on track and more consistent than ever. With that said, this is Anwav signing out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Peace out. Bye-bye.